Hello everyone and welcome, Valyth here. You hear DPS players say, let me sim that whenever they get gear in order to see if a piece is an upgrade for them. The website Raidbot, which I have up here, has the ability to create results that tell the user exactly how much of a change in DPS they should expect by equipping the simulated piece. But the website has no way of helping us as healers with any gearing choices whatsoever. Well, even though we healers don't really have the same level of simulation power at our fingertips like they do, we do have one website that does a really good job at helping us along the way. That website is QE Live. I was chatting with some of my subscribers the other day, and it became more and more apparent that this website and how to use it was not something that all healers use, or even know about for that matter. This got me thinking. I figured, with such a powerful website available to us, I wanted to make this video to show everyone how you can use this resource to improve your gearing decisions, as well as help you target certain pieces of gear that'll be good for your character specifically. Wowhead's best in slot list is a great start, but those pieces are best in slot because how they all interact with each other. If you don't have all of those pieces on your character, then it stands to reason that there might be better equipment out there considering the current state of your character specifically. This is one of the main benefits of QB Live that I will be showing you in this video. But before we get into those details, please remember to hit that like button and leave a comment below outlining how you are currently getting your information about gearing. And most importantly, remember to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. One thing you will need to have installed is the add-on Simulation Craft. You can find this add-on in CurseForge or on their website. I've left a link in the description of this video. Once installed, you'll need to open up its interface within the game itself. There are multiple ways you can open up the add-on within the game. The easiest of which is to click the button on your minimap. The other way is typing slash simc in your chat box. Once you've done this, a window will pop up and all you need to do is copy all of the text within this window. This text represents your character in its entirety, including all of the gear you have equipped, your talent choices, the gear in your backpack, as well as the gear you may have sitting in your vault. Once you have this text copied, make your way over to the QE Live website. I've left a link in the description of this video. Once there, you need to make sure you first create a profile for the healing character you just copied the simulation craft text for. You do this at the very bottom of the website. Click the add character link and follow the instructions. Once that has all been done, you should see a class avatar and your character's name. Before anything else, I want you to turn your attention to the top of this website, specifically where it says Dungeon and Raid. This toggles whether you will be looking at your character from a dungeon content or raid content standpoint, as gear and stats can vary greatly depending on what content you are doing. Let's start with having it toggled for dungeons. Now, go down to your character profile at the bottom of the page and then right click your character. This will now show you the general, and I do mean general, stat weight values for dungeon content. If you toggle raid and do the same, it will show you the stat weights for raiding instead. You are now ready to start optimizing your gear that is specifically tailored to the stats of your own character. Top gear is at the top of their list, so let's start there. Click the link and you'll take it to another page. When there, click the bright yellow button on the right that says Import Gear. This is where you'll paste all of that text you copied from Simulation Craft in-game. After you hit Submit, you now have a list of every piece of gear at your disposal that you can pick which ones you want the website to run a simulation on. It automatically picks all of your equipped gear. It is now up to you to select the gear you want to have simulated compared to the ones you have equipped. If you hit the little cogwheel on a piece, you can also set their item levels if you want to simulate it at a more upgraded version. Once you've picked all the pieces you want to simulate, hit the go button at the bottom. This will take you to another page that shows your character and all the gear it is recommended that you have equipped. If something is recommended to be changed compared to what you already have equipped, you will see a dotted line surrounding that piece. This will also give you recommendations on gems and enchants. If you scroll down, at the very bottom of the page, it will show you gear combinations that it ran and how those would impact your healing per second worthy to be equipped. If the value is very small, you should consider that a side grade and you can use either or. Some of the recommendations may appear surprising or not what you expected, but keep in mind, this website is simulating this with your character in mind, not some generic best-in-slot utopian situation where you have all of the best gear in the game. This is why you will want to come back here and re-sim your tune often, especially if you're getting a lot of gear, just to make sure you're running the most optimized setup. Let's head back to the main page, and then hit Trinkets. We follow the same procedure here and import your gear from Simulation Craft. You now see all the trinkets in the game and their expected healing per second based on item level. Take note of the three options at the top of this section, where it says Raids, 
dungeons, and the rest. This refers to where you can find these trinkets. There is also a more in-depth section for trinkets here called Trinket Deep Dive. This will give you a bit more detail on the best trinkets in the game and why. Let's once again head back to the main page and then go to the Quick Compare option. Again, paste your simulation craft into the Import Gear button and hit Submit. Now you see all of the gear you have and it now assigns a value to each piece. The higher the value, the better the piece is the idea here. This corresponds to the top gear results but presents them in a slightly different way. Back to the main page again we go, and we click the Upgrade Finder. This is very handy to find where you will find upgrade pieces. Here you can decide what level of keys you want it to search, as well as which raid difficulty. Load the simulation craft text again, and pick all the relevant options that fit you, then hit go. This now brings you to a page that shows gear from raid, dungeons, and world bosses. You can also pick upgrades by a specific slot up here on the right. This will then show you which boss and raids has upgrades for you, or it will show you the gear and the dungeons that will be an upgrade for you. This can be very helpful so you can target specific pieces that will be the highest upgrade for your character. It's worth playing around with the options here and looking through all the content for upgrades. After that, start targeting content where you can optimize your gear grinding. The last thing I will go over is the embellishment option. Go through the same steps we've done a few times now, and it will show you which embellishment will be the most useful for you from a healing standpoint, so long as you have healing toggled here. You can toggle any of the other options, and it will show you embellishments for that. One specific thing I want to call your attention to here is the options section. This is especially useful for Elemental Lariat. You can change the number of gems you have, which changes the value of Lariat tremendously. The more gems you have, the more value it has. Remember, Everything I've shown you thus far should be done for both dungeons and raid, as you probably have very different stats needed for either content, and there might be gear that's better suited for one or the other. I use this website constantly for every single one of my healer characters, and it's been really helpful for me to figure out what I can do better from a gearing standpoint. That is it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you, and if it was, please hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and also remember to hit that subscribe button to not miss any future videos. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.